Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over how to flash upgrade your GC3. So right here I have a GC3. It is on the second um, revision. So I'm actually, you guys are actually going to be able to be seeing me upgrade it to the newest firmware right now. So just recently, 2GIG released the new firmware update for the GC3 that actually allows partitioning. So this will be one of the first wireless all-in-one systems that you can do partitions with. So that's something exciting to know. Um, and again, that's on the latest firmware version, that's 3.2.0, and then a couple of other numbers after that. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get to that in just a moment, right? So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you have your GC3 powered on. You're going to need an empty USB drive, right? doesn't matter the size because the file that you're putting on this is very small so you just have to make sure that it's completely empty and uh, you need a computer or a tablet so well actually you do need a computer because you need to be able to transfer it from your computer to your USB drive today I'm gonna be showing you how to get to that from a tablet um, that way you guys can know how to navigate to the file to download for the GC3 so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and get my tablet you're going to want to go to our website, alarmgrid.com. So let me go ahead and start setting this up for you guys. So you can use any web browser. I'm going to be using Safari. I'm going to go to our website, alarmgrid.com. It's going to take you to our main landing page. Now, if you're doing this on a computer, you're going to see the blue navigation bar at the very top. And to the right hand side you should see a search option all I'm gonna do since I'm on a tablet I actually have to hit the little menu sign and I'm gonna go to search and I'm gonna type in something simple GC3 firmware update once I hit search it's gonna take me to my GC3 firmware um, page this is gonna be where you're gonna download the file from so you can transfer it onto the USB now the file download is going to be directly from a Dropbox link that we provide for you guys so you guys can download it. So give me a moment. So you're going to scroll past the little Google results. Could be two or three links. For me it's those top two. And I'm going to do the uh, how do I flash upgrade my 2 gig GC3 alarm system. Well I'm sorry that is not the one you want. Uh, so you're going to want to go to the 2 gig GC3 firmware updates. So right there, it's going to have all of the release notes. It's going to have all the instructions, everything you need to do. And um, the very at the very top, you're going to see a green button that says download current firmware. Now, again, this is all free. As long as you have a USB stick and as long as you have a computer, you can flash upgrade your GC3 for free. Now, if you guys don't have a computer, don't have a USB stick, but your GC3 is being monitored with an alarm.com cellular module, we can push it down remotely. However, there is a fee for that, right? Alarm.com charges for that. So we also have to charge you. It's not a big fee. It may be like $3 somewhere around that area. But again, that's only if you don't have a computer or a USB stick and you really want to get that firmware update, we can do it remotely. It would just have a small little fee. But if you're looking for free, it's all done through the website and a USB stick. So now that you're there on the, on the GC3 firmware update page, all you do is hit the green button that says download current firmware. It's going to take you to our Dropbox link. As soon as you get to the Dropbox link, give it a second. Well, I'm doing it on a tablet, so I'm going to do continue to website. And um, usually, if you're doing this in a browser, you'll have a download button. If you're not seeing the download button on your browser, there should be three dots on the top right, on the top right corner of your web page. If you just tap on those three dots, do direct download. Direct download is going to save that file onto your computer. Now, after you've saved it onto your computer, all you have to do, since it, it since it is just a, um, it's just a simple file. It doesn't need any unzipping or anything like that. You're just going to click drag uh click it drag and drop it into your usb so make sure that your usb is plugged into your computer you click and you click and drag the file you drop it into your usb eject the usb 
Don't just pull it out because you don't want anything to get corrupted. Do the eject option. You pull the USB out. Now we're going to get to the actual plugging in the USB to the GC3. So the GC3's uh, USB slot is actually at the very top right here in the center. There's a little rubber socket that's keeping it closed. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys real quick. This little rubber socket right here. You can use your finger just to take it out. And if you can't take it out with your finger, if you don't have any nails, you can try getting a little uh, flathead and just putting it there and just popping it right out. It comes right off. That's the USB slot that you're looking for. All you're going to do is insert it. Now, see, I'm at the home screen. Once I insert it, it's going to ask me if I want to upgrade the firmware update. You'll see. So I plug it in. Oh, here, hold on. Let me put this here. Good. I'm not that tall, so I can't see. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, I'm taking it off. So I accidentally pressed a button on the screen, which pulled up a little menu. But as you saw, as soon as I is this on correctly, you'll see as soon as I plug it in, you get the option firmware update available from USB drive. Hit update. It's going to ask you to enter in your code to access the settings. I'm just going to enter in my master code. One, 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 one. It's going to say updating, please wait. Yeah, now your master code, I use one, 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 one because that's my default master code for the system. Yours could be different. Yours could be the code that you use to arm and disarm the system normally. Yeah, so make sure you guys use the master code. I think you should also be able to use the installer code, which that by default is one, five, six, one as well. So master code or installer code. And uh, it's going to start decoding the firmware update, formatting the partitions. Um, and yeah, it's just going to take you through, through the whole landing screen, through the whole loading and um, update screen here. Once the, gray bar is f once the gray bar is full, obviously that means that the firmware update is done. And it should let you know. All right, so once the panel update has completed, it'll actually say rebooting. So that panel, it just told me it's going to start rebooting. And uh, now we're just waiting for it to power on. And it should power on with the newest firmware update. To confirm, I'll show you where to check for that. It's very easy to check. Let's just wait till it completes, completely powers on, and then I'll show you where to go. So the system rebooted back up. It's in a ready-to-arm state. I can go ahead and remove the USB stick. Place the little plastic connector piece back on. And now, just to confirm that we are on the latest firmware version, we're going to go ahead and go to System Settings, enter in your master code or installer code. I'm going to use the installer code 1561. I'm going to go down. So let me see. Actually, sorry, it's a lot easier than that. You honestly just have to go to system info and usage to check the firmware update. Hit system info, and right there it shows you we're on firmware version 3.2.0 before we were on firmware version 3.1 point something, right? So like I said, this new firmware version, a lot of new exciting news to come with it, especially because now it has partitions. Um, that was just a quick video on how to flash upgrade the GC3 firmware. Uh, remember, you need a USB stick or you need an alarm.com cell module that's activated, and we can push it down remotely, but there's a fee for that one. The USB stick is free. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enable notifications. That way, when we upload new content, you guys do get notified. I'm George. I'll see you guys next time.